Hello, friends. Today, let's solve number of digit one. Given integer n, count the to total number of digit one appearing in on all non-negative integers less than or equal to n. If n equal to thirteen, we will output six y, because there there is one, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. You may wonder. There are only five numbers. Why we all put six? The reason is there are two one in this eleven, so we count it twice. Uh, so how to get this six? Actually, we can try to put the digit one in each place, from uh this place to uh this place. We just uh, count how many valid uh, integers. When we set one in each position, so if we set the one, uh, this position as one, then we have two valid number. That is one and eleven. The when we set this position to one, then we have four valid. Integers that is ten, eleven, twelve, and thirteen. So that's our strategy. Let's see the algorithm in details. We just、uh, try to put、uh, each position、uh, as the integer one, the digit one actually. So we set from the smallest to the largest. So when we set this place to one, how many integers are valid? We will count. Then when we set this place to a digit one, how many integers we will get? And we also sum up. We set this position as integer, the digit one. How many integer we will get? Let's see. If we set this position as digit one, then We will have eleven valid integer. Why? Let's see. We already set this place at one. Then, uh, the in the place before this one can be zero, one, two, ten. So that means we have the number one hundred and one, and ninety one to twenty one, and eleven and one. So that's what does this eleven mean? So this eleven essentially is this ten plus one times one. Why we times one? Because currently the base is one, and then we move forward. Then the base will equal to ten, because we already in this place. So the base is ten. In this situation, the current num digit is zero, which is less than one. Then we can only get this possible possibilities here. We put this place at as one. Then we have ten, eleven, twelve to nineteen. So in total there are ten possibilities. So this ten is、uh, we time this left and ten because current base is ten. So we have ten possibilities. And then we move forward. We go to this one. At this position, we put it as one. Then we can only have five possibilities. There will be one hundred, one hundred and one to one hundred and four.、Mm, because we can only because the current base is one hundred, but、uh, there is nothing on its left. We can only sum up its right. Actually, it's four. So from zero to four, there are five integers. So we sum up five. So that's how we get this result. If we, you think you already understand it, then let's see another example. We also start from the four to one to one. So we first fill up this current digit. Then it's left. It's when we At this current digit four, on the left is eleven, and when we hear the on the left is one, when we hear on the left is zero, and、uh, when we hear on its right is zero, when we are here on its right is four, 
Here, the right is 14. So we fill up this table. And the base as the pre previous example base from 110 to uh, 100. So the same thing, if the current digit is 4, is greater than 1. So in total, we have left plus 1 times base. We have 12 possibilities when we set a, this place at 1. And then we go to here. Currently, it is equal to 1. So it should be summed up from its left and the right. So let's see. If we set this place and the 1, yeah, we already set it at 1. As on its left, it is 1, so we can set 0 or 1 here. If we set it as 0, then we can put all the possibilities on its right. There will be 10, 11, 12, to 19. If we set left to 1, then we only have 5 possibilities, because it is already 1. At, lar at the largest, it's already 1, so we have 110, 111 to 114. So in total, there are five possibilities. We sum these two numbers up. We have 10 plus 5 equal to 14. So that's when the current digit equal to the 1. We should sum up uh, left times base plus right plus 1. OK? So when the current digit go to this place, we have 15 possibilities. What is that? Actually, it's 100 to 114. Uh, uh, so it's 15 possibilities here. So actually, this is a sum up uh, formula. When the current digit equal to 1, we should sum up left uh, time space plus right plus 1. When it greater than 1, then we should sum up left plus 1 times base. Otherwise, if left than 1, we only need to sum up, sum up left times base. OK, let's write the code. Mm, we should be careful, because uh, we first do a H case check if n equal to 0, we just return 0. And uh, we need a base, as we always need to times it, so we would better write it to long. And uh, when the condition is when the base is less or equal than n, we do the things. And we also need a sum, right? We need uh, the final result. So in the end, we just return sum. So here, we should uh, get the left and the uh, curve digit and uh, the right digit. So how do you get it? Um, first thing, we should convert it to int because we use long here. Convert it to int. Convert it to int. So how do you write things? The left, this is the left, the current digit and the right. So let's see. The left, there should be n divided base and uh, divided 10. Uh, the curve will be n, uh, sorry, the left, uh, okay, the curve should be n divided base, and uh, mm, maybe we will see some example, the right will be base, uh, module base, why? Because at the very beginning, it's 104, so we module base, which is 1. So we will get uh, 0. So that's correct. So how to get this 4? That means we um, divide base. Then we have 104. And then we module, um, we module 10. So we get, get 4. So here we will module the 10. Is that correct? We have 104. And we divide 10. Oh, sorry. Divide base. We have 104. And we divide 10 again, so we get a 10. So that's correct. OK, so then if the the current digit greater than 1, what should we do? We should be sum up the left plus 1 times um, base. Else, if curve 
less than one. Actually, if equal to one, we should be sum up the left time space plus right plus one. If it's less than one, we only need to sum up left time space. Every time the base should time up 10. OK, that's it. Thank you for watching. See you next time.